Good morning. This is our One Pot Wonder program. We're back after Christmas and New Year's. I hope everyone had a safe holiday. So we're going to get right to it. We're happy to be back and um, we're looking forward to spending the afternoon with you. So today's class, it's January 5th. Uh, we're in our, actually in our third session, which is amazing. We can't believe it's, the time's gone so quickly. Um, so today's class is class five. Uh, you have one more class after today and then we'll take a break and we'll start a new group. Um, so um, just for today I want to let you know that we're going to be cooking uh, bison uh, baked spaghetti. So uh, it's a little bit of a twist. We, uh, we were very fortunate enough to have some donations given to us so that's why we chose to use the bison today. Um, so our donations actually, just to bring you up to speed on what we're doing here, um, the donations came in from the Interfaith Food Bank out of Lethbridge and yesterday we drove down and picked up um, the bison, 50 pounds of bison and we were able to get um, 10 trays of chicken from them as well. So we were very, felt very blessed. Thank you so much you guys, you're doing a great job down there. Um, and we also have received some donations of once again, very faithfully for our Pincher Creek Food Center. Um, they have uh, donated your eggs and your um, milk, as well as their connection with the Interfaith Food Bank as well, because they work quite closely, all of us. So um, it's very greatly appreciated. And our Pitcher Creek Co-op was very kind and generous as well. Every week they're there for us and we're grateful. Uh, we, they give us um, all the preparation for our food. We call in, give them our order and they have it all ready for us and we can go in and pick it up. So it's, thanks so much Kane and for all your staff. Um, and then we, just a big thank you to our girls that are coming in to help do bags and uh, do deliveries from uh, Pagani Child and Family Services. A great big thank you to their volunteering. That's so greatly appreciated. And for Nappy Friendship Center as well, for their support and making sure that we can do this program for you every week. So a great big thank you to Leanne and uh, our board of directors. Thank you guys. Um, and last but not least, Kayla Ray, who does our, our videos, and it's Kayla Ray X Dye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> so, um, we're going to get started, and then we'll kind of, um, see how it goes. We'll be right back. Okay, so I've put the bison into to cook on the stove, and bison doesn't have a lot of fat. Um, for anybody that I'm sure a lot of you have tried bison or eat it regularly if you can, um, but it doesn't have a lot of fat, so it's kind of a drier meat. So it's <clears throat> for ground bison, which is what you're going to be getting. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, it's best to use it in like sauces or in casseroles or that kind of thing. So. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> so, um, this is cooking. And so what I've done is we've, um, chopped up some onions, which we're going to add into the meat. And <clears throat> we have some green peppers and some garlic that we've also, um, chopped up, which we're going to put into the meat. And we're going to let that cook to kind of just pull all the flavors together. And, um... I didn't put mushrooms in your bags today because a lot of people don't like mushrooms and um, I mean you could certainly add it into your spaghetti sauce if you have some or um, you like that so um, but I'm gonna put some in for today but as I said there is no mushrooms in your bag <clears throat> so we're gonna just let this cook and um, I might as well just throw all this in. And we're gonna just let it cook and bring all the flavors together. And I'm going to add some oregano as well, which is, oh, one moment. So 
so uh, you will have this in your bag. I think you have some from previous class, but um, we've just added in some extra for you. And some garlic clove is in your bag as well. And Italian and... Yeah, there's the Italian seasoning and oregano. Um, but they're both primarily the same spice. The Italian just has um, oregano in it as well. <laughs> so, okay, so we're gonna let this cook for a few minutes. And while you're waiting for your meat to cook, um, you can put some water on to boil uh, for your spaghetti. And um, usually I like to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of oil. So if you wanna go ahead, you can get your water ready and uh, we'll start that spaghetti. Um, and then once this is the meat and the vegetables have kind of simmered and cooked a little more, then we will um, add in the spaghetti later on. So we'll be back. You don't have to have my head on. Okay, there you go. Okay. okay, so we're gonna break the spaghetti in half and I just kind of do it one handful one way and one the other. And we have a little bit of oil and salt in there as well. We're gonna let that cook. It doesn't take very long. Um, probably maybe five or six minutes and we'll check it again. Now our meat and vegetables in here are cooked and we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. So in your bag, you'll have one can of diced tomatoes, which I'm gonna add to um, the sauce. If, if you're not a big tomato fan, you don't have to put this in. You can kind of skip that one. And then also too, you're gonna to have a big jar of spaghetti sauce. Um, it's, uh, and then we're gonna add this in to, I would start with a half container first, just to see what your consistency is. <clears throat> I don't like to have it too, too um, thick, but you wanna be able to have it um, juicy enough that when you put your spaghetti in, that it'll kinda start to absorb um, some further liquid when it's baking. So I think that that's for like this will feed at least five or six people, maybe maybe even seven, but um, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, <laughs> oh, so <clears throat> when you do put your spaghetti in, um, which we'll do once it's ready, uh, then we'll just do, what I like to do is just put a little bit of Parmesan in, um, in the mixture, and then we top it with the, um, shredded cheese that we decided to go with instead of the brick uh, <clears throat> just that they had um, had a really good sale on it co-op thank you very much co-op and we'll be back shortly with the spaghetti then so our spaghetti's finished and we're going to um, just strain the spaghetti to get some of the starch off um, and then we will once we have the spaghetti strained then we're going to put it into our sauce and mix it all around into the sauce. And I'm just gonna put this on top like that. And we'll come over to the stove. So, I'm sorry I did behind the scenes here a little bit, but um, I did add some Parmesan cheese into the sauce. I just kind of sprinkled it in. And I added um, about three quarters of a teaspoon of sugar. It just takes the tartness away from the tomato. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I mean, you can do it to taste. You can put a half a teaspoon, whatever you kind of like, but it just takes that acidy, tomatoey um, flavor off of the sauce. So, um, but if you don't want to, you don't have to put it in. It's just a taste preference mostly. Okay, so we're gonna put all the spaghetti into this pot. We have enough here for... An army. An army. <laughs> and so we're gonna just mix all of the sauce in together. If I can get it. And so once you have this mixed really, really well, 
Um, then we're going to add some Parmesan. We'll add a little bit more right now. And then we're gonna stir this into your, um, into your spaghetti. So you can see the consistency of this um, spaghetti. I'm gonna add just a touch more of sauce. I don't want it too, too runny, because remember this is baked spaghetti. It's not um, your, your normal spaghetti that you're cooking. But I am gonna add just a little bit of extra sauce. And then we'll mix that up as well. And there's lots of sauce still on the bottom. But normally what I do at home is I'll take um, individual trays or, you know, you can get those disposable aluminum ones or whatever you have to put in and you can freeze this. And um, um, once it's cooked like this and so that you have meals for later on. So you, <clears throat> you just can put it in smaller um like containers and then just put your cheese on top and freeze it and then you can just bake it when um, whenever you feel you want to have some so okay so I'm gonna just even this out a little bit and then we're just all you do is you just put your cheese on top and then we're gonna throw it in the oven Okay, and in your recipe it calls for parsley, and the parsley is just used more for decoration. There's not a lot of flavor in parsley. It's very good for you, but it um, doesn't have a lot of taste really. It was just to sprinkle on top and uh, to give it just a more of an appearance. So now I'm gonna throw this in the oven and we're gonna bake it until it just kind of bubbles and then your cheese Oh, actually, we could put a little bit of Parmesan on top of your matzo, which is kind of gives it a little bit more of a crispy taste, kind of like a pizza. And so we'll put this in here, and we're going to let it, you'll want to monitor it as closely as you can, because of course the cheese, you don't want that cheese to burn. Um, I have my oven on about 400. Um, and then once your cheese browns and it starts to bubble, your spaghetti is ready. So we'll be back once it's complete and uh, we'll show you the end result. Okay, this is our final creation. It is your bison baked spaghetti. Um, bon appetit, stay safe. And until next week, could you guys give some thought to um, what we could do with chicken. If you have some ideas that you'd like to try, can you put it a post into our Facebook Messenger and uh, let us know what you think. Until then, take care and we'll see you next week.